Hello and welcome to Inside Rugby. My name is Mark. We're in beautiful Cancun in Mexico and we've got nine amazing rugby games happening this weekend as all part of the warm-up games before the Rugby World Cup. And this is the last chance for all the teams to have a good hit out before they go into their French training camps and get ready for their first pool game. So it's a great... Weekend, we're going to see a lot of the teams trialing out their starting 15 that are going to be starting their pool games for their respective nations in this year's Rugby World Cup. Now there's nine games on offering this weekend. It's a busy weekend if you're going to be watching a bit of rugby across the world. And the first game I want to give my prediction on is that massive game that's happening at Twickenham on Friday between the New Zealand All Blacks and the South African Springboks. Now I think this is going to be a closer encounter than what we saw in Auckland in New Zealand. And the reason for that is because it's a neutral ground and I think the Springboks have improved as a side since that game against the All Blacks. Now don't forget a lot of the All Blacks playing in this game have not played for a number of weeks and I think the continuity that the Springboks are going to bring to this game is going to be an important factor in the game but I think it's going to be very very close and I'm picking the All Blacks to win by just a few points. In fact my score at this stage is All Blacks 27 South Africa 23 so I think it is going to be close but it could go either way and I won't be too upset if it does because I don't think it's going to have any bearing at all on the Rugby World Cup this year. It's just one of those games that uh, it's going to give one of the teams a good feeling I guess as they go into their pool game but I think as soon as that final whistle blows in this game these two teams are going to be super focused on their first game in the, the Rugby World Cup. Okay, next up for me is England versus Fiji, also being played at Twickenham, but on Saturday. And I'm picking England to have a hard time against Fiji. I think that Fiji's discipline is going to let them down in this game. They either, either might get a yellow or red card scenario. And with them down to 14 men, I think it's going to be difficult for them to continue to play 80 minutes against this English team, which is desperate to have a win um, as they head into their Rugby World Cup campaign. A close game here and I'm picking England to win by 21 points to 17. I'd like to see Fiji give them a run but I just think over 80 minutes Fiji haven't got the execution skills at this stage to take it to England for that period of time. I hope I'm proven wrong but we'll have to to wait and see. next up another mouth-watering encounter and that's between France and Australia the Australian media had a good time out with Eddie Jones but now all the focus goes on to the rugby and that's what it should be all about I'm picking France to win this game against Australia but it's going to be close I think the Australians are going to be up for it and it's going to be a good opportunity for them to put down a marker as we head into the rugby world. So I'm picking France to win this game by 31 points to 25. I think the Australians are going to get a few tries. Put Marika Korobetti down for one of those for sure. And uh, a good display, I think, by Australia against one of the favourite teams in this Rugby World Cup. And that is France, of course. Next up we go to Murrayfield in Scotland where Scotland are playing Georgia and I really like this Georgia team. They are ranked number 11 in the world. They could give Scotland a bit of a hard time but I like the way Scotland's been playing in their last few games. They'll be wanting to continue to build that momentum because that game against South Africa in their pool group is looming up to be very large and very important. I expect Scotland to beat Georgia this week and my score prediction for this game is Scotland 32, Georgia 18 and I think it's going to be a great spectacle at Murrayfield for all the Scottish fans to wave goodbye to their Scottish team before they head off to the Rugby World Cup. Next up we have Manu Samoa playing against Ireland and it's always going to be interesting this game to see whether Ireland can keep their upward trajectory as they head to the Rugby World Cup. Now I'm expecting Manu Samoa to give Ireland a hard time. However, they're not going to be able to sustain it for the 80 minutes. I like a lot of the players in the Samoa team. I'm gonna be talking about that next week when I do the review of this game and pointing out some of those key players that I think Samoa are going to depend on in this year's campaign at the Rugby. 
But for me, Ireland are going to win this one by 36 points to 12. I don't think Samoa is going to be able to get through this Irish defence on too many occasions. And I see the Irish backs having too much power and opportunities from the set ball that the Irish forwards are going to be able to win Ireland across the 80 minutes of this game. Again, another example here where I think the Pacific Island teams have not got that execution level for 80 minutes at this stage in their games. And again, I hope I'm proven wrong. So a win for Ireland in that game against Manu Samoa. Next up, Italy against Japan, and I think this is going to be a really good benchmark game for Karen Crowley's team from Italy. They've been on an upward trajectory. They beat a 14-man Romanian team last weekend by a whole host of points, and I think they're going to do the same thing to Japan. I like the way Italy is going in this campaign. They've got a couple of their key players back from injury, which is also very important. So my score prediction for this game between Italy and Japan is 36 points to 18 to Italy. I think Japan are going to get a couple of tries against the Italians. But over the course of the 80 minutes, I think the Italians are going to be too fast and too strong for the Japanese team. And I think they've got too many opportunities out wide Italy to score points against this Japanese team once those forwards start to get control of this game. So a win for Italy against Japan. Next up, we have one of those interesting games by one of the smaller rugby nations in the world, and that's Portugal. They're playing against an Australian 15 this weekend, and that's going to be a really interesting game to see how Portugal are going. I suspect the Australian team is going to win this game, and I've got a scoreline on this game of 27 points to 15 to the Australian 15 against Portugal this weekend. So let's see how that prediction turns out. Again, I'm going to watch this game, so I'm going to give a review on it next week and uh, just see how good this Portugal team is heading into the Rugby World Cup. Then we head off to Spain, and Spain are hosting Argentina this weekend, and it's going to be a good hit out, probably in some very warm conditions for the Argentinian team. So I hope their fitness and stamina is in good shape, because I'm sure that's going to get worked out in Spain. I suspect that uh, Spain is not the greatest rugby nation in the world at this point in time. They will grow, I'm sure, but I'm sure Argentina are going to do a healthy number on Spain. And my scoreline in this game is 49 points to 6 to Argentina against Spain in this encounter. I don't think Spain are going to be fortunate enough to be able to score any tries against Argentina. And I expect Argentinian forwards to really be able to set up a dominating position and platform for those Argentinian backs to score a number of tries in this game. So 46 points to six, 49 points to six in this game between Argentina and Spain. And then the last prediction I have for this weekend is the game between Chile and an Argentinian 15 that's taking place. And I think the Argentinian 15 is going to get up by 27 points to 16 against this Chile team who of course are heading off to the Rugby World Cup. So there you go, there's my predictions for this weekend's games. There's going to be some fantastic battles, probably the highlight will be the All Blacks against the Springboks, but I see Fiji giving England a very hard time and it's going to be interesting to see how Scotland goes this weekend as well against Georgia. I think that could be another really interesting game. Will Eddie Jones's Wallabies get up against France and make a bit of a surprise statement there? I'm sure that'll throw the cat amongst the pigeons and I'm sure Eddie will have something to say about that if the Wallabies were able to get their first win under Eddie Jones this year. The other game that's going to interest me is how Ireland are going to deal with Samoa. Samoa can be dig, big, powerful and difficult to play against but it, and it's going to be a good test of Ireland to see whether they can go the full 80 minutes against this Samoan team. So there you go, there are my predictions for this particular weekend. Check out the community tab on my channel because I put all these games up there with a poll. You can participate in those, I would love that. And you can see who's picking what teams for this weekend's games. So I look forward to a great weekend of rugby. As I said, I'll be doing a lot of reviews of these games right here on my channel. So the way that you can help out is hit that subscribe button, hit the little bell notification, and give this video a thumbs up if you like it as well. Thanks very much for watching my videos. I'll be back again soon with some more. Until then, stay safe, stay well, and enjoy your rugby this weekend, everybody. Bye for now.